We will now cover closing the poles in this presentation. Items that will be covered are voters in line at 8 p.m., head judges will assign tasks to election judges, counting ballots, counting receipts, closing the M100 and auto mark, running summary tapes, signing summary tapes, balancing the statistic worksheet, counting write-ins. Sealing the voted ballot envelopes, completing the precinct certification form, returning forms, seal and sign other envelopes, rosters, voter registration applications, election day rosters, and used voter receipts. Returning election judge bags, taking down and stacking voting booths, returning items in the M100 case, returning cord and headset in the Automark case, returning memory cards and seals in envelope A. Secrecy covers non-voted ballots, tables and chairs, food items, flag, signs, ballot box, stain until everything is done. All voters in line at 8 p.m. must be allowed to vote. Stand behind the last voter if necessary. If you are scheduled to work until the end of the night, these tasks must be completed before leaving, unless otherwise instructed by your head judge. They include, but not limited to, balancing, taking down voting equipment, taking down signs, returning items to their correct location, completing all tasks. City of Mankato, the head judge is responsible for the blue bin, the blue bag, and the red bag. City and township clerks will be responsible for a blue bag. Depending on the registered voter count, Blue Earth County may be sending more than one blue bag or a container for secured transport of the ballots. Locate the what to do at the end of the night instructions. All ballots need to be counted. Check the emergency slot of the ballot box. If ballots are in the emergency slot, two judges from major political parties will remove the ballots and feed them into the ballot tabulator to be counted. This should be done before running end of the night totals. Voter receipts and the number of voters on the tabulator display must match. If you don't balance, your head judge may assign you to count the voter receipts. Your receipts should equal the total number of ballots tabulated through the M100 unless otherwise noted on the incident log. If you do not balance, you may be assigned to remove ballots from the ballot box and count them. Locate the M100 instructions to close the precinct tabulator. The M100 will automatically print three summary tapes. From the M100, remove the seal and memory card and return in the designated plastic bags. From the Automark, remove the flash card and place it in the blue Automark flash card envelope. Place plastic bags and Automark flash card in envelope A. The seal number from the M100 must be certified on your official summary tape. Write the seal number on all three tapes. If the seal number written on the zero report for opening the polls doesn't match, check the incident log to see if the notation was made. At this time, make a notation that the seal number is different and the reason why. Head judges must complete a summary statement worksheet. The totals are transferred to all three summary tapes. New in 2014, recording the number of election judges working and number of voting booths set up in the precinct. Registration statistics. The asterisks are used for Blue Earth County Election Office use only. Record the number of persons registered at 7 a.m. This number is on the last page of the pre-registered roster. 
Record the number of new registrants on election day. This equals the total number of blue receipts and they must match the election day voter registration applications. The section titled Ballots Delivered to the Precinct. The ballots delivered as certified by the election administrator this number will be written on the three-part summary statement. The ballot count adjustments from the ballot count log. Record the number of discrepancies found in the discrepancy column on the ballot count log. The number of unofficial ballots that were made. These are photocopies if ballots ran out. Our goal is that this will never happen. The head judge will be calling Blue Earth County elections. The total number of ballots that were delivered to the precinct. Add all three lines to get the total number of ballots delivered. The next section titled, Ballots Not in the Ballot Box. The number of spoiled ballots. Count the ballots in the envelope labeled spoiled ballot. The number of originals for which duplicates have been made. Count the ballots in the envelope labeled, Original Ballots for which duplicates have been made. This is rare. This line will almost always be zero. The number of unused ballots. Count what's left from the open packs. Count the unopened ballot packs. Count as 100 unless otherwise noted. The total number of ballots not in the ballot box. Add lines 6, 7, and 8 to equal B. In this section, ballots cast in the ballot box. In Blue Earth County, we balance to total number of receipts. If the receipts match the tabulator display, write that number here. If they do not match, count the receipts. The head judge calls Blue Earth County elections if you still do not balance. The total number of ballots in the ballot box. Recorded on this line is the same number as the number of receipts matching the tabulator display. In this section, ballot returned to election administrator. The ballots returned to Blue Earth County election officials from the precinct. Add the total number of the ballots not in the ballot box to the total number of ballots in the ballot box. The difference for election administrator notation on the delivery record. The difference is the total number of ballots delivered to the precinct and the total number of ballots returned to election officials from the precinct. This should be zero. If not, check your counts, check your addition, check your instant log, the head judge calls Blue Earth County elections if zero is not the answer. Now the worksheet has been completed. Your numbers have been recorded and you balance. Transfer all information from the worksheet to all three tabulator tapes. Sign all three summary tapes. All election judges sign. In the election judge supplies will be instructions and the declared write-in list for the offices of county, state, judicial, and federal. Only the names on the list for these offices need to be counted. Every write-in for the offices of municipal or school district are counted and tallied. All write-in tally sheets and declared lists are returned in envelope A. Complete the three-part polling place summary statement. Then, insert a tabulator result tape and a summary statement into envelopes A, B, and C. Seal and judges sign the envelopes. The A and B envelopes are returned in the blue bag and locked with the seal provided. 
City and Township Clerks Keep Envelope C Precincts in Mankato return envelope C in the blue bag. The ballot envelopes are to be used for voted ballots only. Complete the ballot envelope. This includes your precinct name, the date of the election, the total number of ballots in the envelope, and how many envelopes were used. Example would be one of one, one of two, etc. Sign the flap of the ballot envelopes. If the duplicate ballot envelope is used, complete the front of the envelope. The election judges must seal and sign the envelope flap. Return this envelope in the blue bag. If the spoil ballot envelope was used, complete the front of the envelope. The election judges must seal and sign the envelope flap. Return this envelope in the blue bag. All posters and signs should be removed and returned in the same bag it was received. All blue painter's tape provided to the City of Mankato precincts should be removed and discarded. Election judges must return tables, chairs, flag, and equipment where they found them. Discard leftover food and beverages. Information covered in this presentation. At 8 p.m., announce the polls are closed. An election judge may be assigned to stand behind the last voter. The head judge will verify that the voter receipts match the total number of persons voting on the M100 display. Close the polls on the M100 and turn off the auto mark. Instructions are found in the supply bag. Return the memory cards and seals in the designated bags and place in envelope A. Your summary statement must balance prior to bringing supplies back to Blue Earth County elections. Each results tape must be signed by all judges. Insert one results tape into the A, the B, the C envelope. Follow instructions on envelope A. What comes back in envelope A? Seal the envelopes. The envelopes must be sealed and signed by a minimum of three judges. For general elections, you will need to count the write-ins. A declared list for county, state, judicial, and federal offices is located in the head judge supply bag. All write-ins for municipal and school district offices must be counted. Forms and items that need to be returned in the blue bag are listed in the what to do at the end of the night instructions. The election judge supply bags include a sheet with a list of items to be returned. Follow those instructions. The equipment is returned as directed by Blue Earth County Elections. Automark, return the cord and headset in the Automark case. Return the memory card in the blue Automark envelope and place in envelope A. M100, return the cord in the M100 case. Return the keys, memory card, and seals in envelope A. The tables, chairs, flag, equipment, and supplies are returned where you found them election morning. You must clean up and discard food items. You must stay until everything is done, unless otherwise directed by the head judge. If you have any questions regarding this presentation or on election day, please contact us by phone or email.